hello everybody um thank you for checking in with um me in the morning um we're here to bring you today's holidays horoscope and history um today we'll be talking about april 29th and as usual i have the usual co-host here i got missy saying hi i got susie over here and somewhere in the room is squeakers so Anyway, I hope you guys are all having a good morning. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your Coca-Cola, your orange juice, whatever it is that you drink in the morning. Um, and we're going to go over today's holidays, horoscope, and history. So anyway, if you were born today, happy birthday. Um, if you're born today, you're a Taurus. Um, your element's Earth. Your ruling planet is Venus. Your symbol is bull. Your zodiac quality is fixed. Your birthstone is emerald. An emerald is a green precious gem that means peace and prosperity. Um, your personality traits are your strong-willed, intelligent, stubborn, hardworking. Um, you like relaxing environments and soothing, soothing sounds. Um, you're honest, consistent, ambitious, and you're a perfectionist. Very strong personality type. Um, if you were born today on April 29th, you share a birthday with Jerry Seinfeld, who was born um, in 1954. Also with Daniel Day-Lewis, a British-Irish actor um, who was born in 1957. And also with Uma Thurman, American actress who was bo born in Boston, Massachusetts in 1970. So every day we go over um, the, his the daily holidays and the history behind the holidays. So today, April 29th, is International Dance Day. So International Dance Day is a global celebration of dance. Um, it was created by the Dance Committee of the International Theater Institute, um, the main partner for the performing arts um, of UNESCO. The event takes place every April 29th, um, which is the anniversary of the birth of um, Jean-Georges Novair, the creator of modern ballet. So IDD says that this day is a celebration day for those who can see the value and importance of the art form dance. It acts as a wake up call for governments, politicians, and institutions which have, which have not yet recognized the value of dance and the people and the individuals um, who have not realized its potential for economic growth. So if you want to learn more about um, International Dance Day, visit www.international/dance/day.org. We'll put the link um, on our page on our April 29th blog post and we'll link that below. So today is also National Peace Rose Day. National Peace Rose Day is celebrated every April 29th. The day is to honor the Peace Rose, a pretty light yellow um, rose that has like pink pretty colors on the edges of the petals. Um, French horticulturist Francis Myland developed the Peace Rose in the 1930s during the German invasion of France. He wanted to protect the new rose, so he sent cuttings to his friends in Italy, Turkey, and Germany, and the United States. The rose received different names in each country it was sent to. Um, the United States named the rose Peace. As the Second World War was coming to an end, the trade name Peace was publicly announced on April 29th in 1945. Later in 1945, Peace Roses, peace roses were given to each delegate at the inter inaugural meeting of the United Nations. In San Francisco and they each got a note that read we hope the peace rose will influence men's thoughts for everlasting world peace how nice so happy National Peace Rose Day I hope that one day we really do have international peace that would be nice today is also National Shrimp Scampi Day um, shrimp scampi came from um, Italian immigrants that came to the United States back in the 19th and 20th century um, today, everybody all over the world loves this delicious dish. So if you want a good recipe for shrimp scampi, go visit our blog post on April, all about April 29th, and we have a recipe there for you. Um, it is also Viral Video Day. Viral Video Day has been recognized since 2013. Um, you guys know what viral videos are, right? Um, somebody makes a video, and it spontaneously becomes very popular in a day um, and goes viral. So that's a viral video. So today would be a good day for you to try to make a video. Um, try out your own hand, make a video, and see how popular it gets. It's also World Wish Day. 
Thousands of children with critical illnesses are, are waiting for their wishes to come true. This World Wish Day, you can give hope to wish kids by donating to Make a Wish America. And we'll put the link um, on our blog post for that if you want to donate. Um, Zipper Day. It is Zipper Day today. So in 1851, Elias Ho, who was an, also the inventor of the sewing machine, um, received a patent for an automatic continuous clothing closure. Try to say that 10 times. Automatic continuous clothing closure. However, Howe failed to market the invention, and 42 years later, Witkin Judson marketed the clasp locker. The clasp locker, I can't say any of these words, was a more complicated hook and eye shoe fastener. Judson later started the Universal Fastener Company, where he manufactured his new device and debuted it at the Chicago World's Fair in 1893. Um, but it still didn't quite catch on for some reason. Years later, um, Guyton Sundback, a Swedish-American electrical engineer, was working at the Universal Fastener Company, and he ended up designing the modern zipper in 1913. Um, the patent for the separable fastener was issued in 1917. In 1923, the BF Goodridge um, Company finally named the device a zipper. So happy zipper day. So next we're going to go through a little bit of today's history. I'm just going to touch on things really quickly. If there's anything that you guys think sounds like a really interesting story, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a separate video for it and go into more detail. So in 1770, James Cook, British explorer, arrives in Australia at Botany Bay, which he named. In 1834, Charles Darwin, English geologist during the second survey voyage of the HMS Beagle, ascended the Bell Mountain. In 1903, a 30 million cubic meters landslide killed 70 people in Frank in the District of Alberta, Canada, um, as 82 million tons of lime, limestone slid down a mountain. Wow, that's a lot. In 1944, during World War II, a British agent, Nancy Wake, a leading figure in the French Resistance um, and the Gestapo's most wanted person, parachutes back into F France to be a liaison um, between London and the local Maquis group. 1945, the German army in Italy unconditionally surrenders to its allies. In 1945, Adolf Hitler marries Eva Braun in his bunker. Um, the very following day, they both commit suicide. We're not so sad about that, are we? In 1945, De Chao concentration camp is liberated by the U.S. troops. In 1953, the first U.S. experimental 3D television broadcast show an episode of Space Patrol on Los Angeles ABC affiliate um, KECA-TV. In 1967, after refusing induction into the U.S. Army the previous day, Muhammad Ali is stripped of his boxing title. In 1968, the musical Hair, a product of the hippie counterculture and sexual revolution of the 60s, um, opens at the Biltmore Theater and Broadway. In 1980, the number one song on the Hot 100 Billboard was Call Me by Blondie. 1981, the number one movie was Friday the 13th, Part 2. In 1992, riots in the Los Angeles break out, destroying hundreds of buildings and killing 63 people following the acquittal of police officers charged with excessive force and the beating of Rodney King. In 2011, Prince William and Catherine Middleton get married at Westminster Abbey in London. In 2015, the Baltimore Orioles defeated the Chicago White Sox 8-2 during the first ever baseball game played with no fans present. Um, the reason there was no fans present was because um, of the 2015 Baltimore protests um, where they are protesting against the Baltimore Police Department officers um, after they arrested Freddie Gray and somehow in the back of the police car managed to very severely injure his spine and neck um, putting him in a coma, and later he died from it. Oh, boy. I hope that one day all this craziness between police and African Americans and everything will come to an end. 2020 U.S. COVID-19 death toll surpasses that of um, Vietnam War. 
In the meanwhile, while so many people are dying from coronavirus, Pence declines to wear a face mask at the Mayo Clinic despite its rules to wear a face mask. So that sums up all the stuff that happened today on April 29th. Um, if you know of other events that happened that are of interest, please put them below in the comments. And if you want to add to anything we talked about, um, feel free to you know, comment below. Um, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Again, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Don't forget to stop by and check out our April um, holidays gift shop. We have lots of merch, mugs, keychains, t-shirts, hats. Um, and we do everything from silly holidays to health awareness items to baby showers, weddings, birthdays, anniversaries. So just stop by and check it out. I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye.